I just thought I'd ask, but can your dining room table do this? <laughs> yes, this is my dining room table! <laughs> Pretty good! <laughs> yeah, here we are in video number 85 of this DIY Expedition Camper video build series. And I am now sharing with you the electrically sliding dining table and why I did it this way and all the benefits of it. So I'm going to go through that in this video. And so stay tuned and excited to share with you. Hey, I just thought I'd ask, can your dining room table do this? Yeah, this is pretty exciting and I'm glad to share this with you and I'll share with you some of the benefits and a little bit more on how I built this. Benefit of this, right now it's a two-person dining room table. Back then it was cocktail and popcorn hour. Now we're going into four-person dining room table. Oh, you know what? Need another guest? Yeah, sure, we can accommodate another guest or two. Here you go. Let's extend all the way out. There you go. Voila. Let's say now your you know, guests are ready to leave. You want to get this dining table out of the way? Yeah, let's get the dining table out of the way. Let's make some room so the guests can go ahead and exit out. And... You know what? Let's just kind of have a couple people now just sitting here having a nice little conversation or playing a game of cards. Sure. Take it to that spot right there. There you go. Okay. Let's say now after playing a little bit of game of cards or having a little dinner for two, you said, you know, let's go down to watch a movie. Or, you know what? Let's just say cocktails. Let's say we're just going to have a little cocktail here. Yeah. Now, that's actually a little more like a popcorn bowl size, right? So you're sitting back with reclining benches here, electrically reclined down, just a little watching a little movie. You got your room on the table just for a popcorn bowl size just for that. But now you say, you know what? Eh, let's go ahead and let's go down to just some drinks. Well, like, you know, we just want to have a couple of glasses of wine. Just put the table away, let's go to bed. Yeah, good idea. Let's put the table away and let's go to bed done. Not in the way. Now you've got this big open space. No table to slide, to swing, to break, all of that. How strong is this? I don't know. Let's do a little test. This is a real test. I've never done this. I am totally tempting fate here that my table, I should say trust and confidence in my build here, and the materials I used, that this is strong enough to support me. We'll find out. Unfortunately, with all these batteries here, I can't really do a test, true test that way, but here, let's just do a little quick test so I can do right now. That's pretty good. Ready? There you go. That is all the way off the ground right there. All the way. The top and the bottom can add significant amount of strength to this on its longitudinal platform as well as it laterally here too and give it that stiffness. The reason why I went with a single Luno actuator, it's embedded within the table frame itself that I'm about to install is because again, by the time I had latches or anything else to get this table out of the way, latch it away, and then a latch to hold it in an open position, it was cheaper just to buy the linear actuator. And of course, the benefit of this is all when it's all the way out in the open position, it's really hard to get into the benches here because it's tight. And so instead of having this table do different things, fold up, fold down, swing out, swing around, and so forth, all that, again, costs more than a linear actuator. So by doing that, I can just simply slide to the same position. If two people are just having a nice little dinner here, slide in that position. The other two people can put their feet up here or nobody here makes it easy to get in and out to go get some more food, some more drink. You want to have a little movie time, set it back, just enough room for a popcorn bowl. You want to have a little romantic evening and you want to recline the benches down and you want to have enough room for just your wine glasses. Voila. Boom. That's it. And so you have a little cocktail table. So now you can have all these infinite different options, whatever is comfortable, most convenient, whatever. And the table can't slide back and forth. It holds a position while driving, holds a position while using it whether parked on a slant, people pushing on it while having dinner, whatever it be, it is now locked in its position. And it does all this, again, for very low cost, incredibly strong, right, with very little energy draw, only when moving. And so it's kind of a no-brainer. All right, so there is a little bit about why I built it this way. And the main reason why was also to get this dining room table out of the way when getting out of the bed. And this is, of course, the bed area up here that the dining room table slides underneath. 
And so and the bed also, of course, slides out over the dining room table when it's out in its open position. So they all basically recess into each other. The way I built this, of course, if you go back way a long time ago, is I glued down 80, 20, one and a half inch profiles down onto the bed platform, the bottom of this bed platform. And they are glued down. There's four of them on there. So they create essentially uh, a lot of strength, but also two of them overlap the dining room table itself. And the other two, of course, are some extra space for some storage drawers adjacent to the dining room tables. I went ahead and installed some stainless steel track sliders that are basically mounted into an aluminum frame along with some very strong track sliders that are both weather resistant. They basically have also wipers in them to keep them clean and, and so forth. And they're capable of handling different environments, but they're very, very strong. They're rated to several hundred pounds each. And I use four of them on here and they also are adjustable. So I can make sure I have really a good level and stability of the dining table when it's both slid in as well as also slid out. So these track rollers and their tracks that they fit into are all rated together for probably a little over like 1,500 pounds, I think, between the four of them. And they hold this very stable in both, like I said, it's closed and it's open position. And they're capable of standing both water and dust and things like that and provide a very strong mount, as you can tell here from the actual action of it. Now, one of the tricks to this, and you'll see what I'm doing here, is drilling holes actually through the 8020 profile, just an access hole to basically screw in a bolt from the backside because these track sliders essentially have, and the, the roller mechanism essentially are bolted in from the backside, not the front side. So hence why I put these access holes to be able to do that. And of course, have to be able to get these in just the right position so that when the dining table is slid all the way to its maximum position out, these track sliders are providing the most strength. And I have four of them there, two on each side so that they both keep it from moving around on the road or washboard roads, any vibration to stabilize the whole bar mechanism of the dining room table to these mounts, but also so that they're nice and stable and as strong as they possibly can be in both the open and the closed position. And you may also notice in one of these sections of the video here too, that I also have the dining room table go back further than it needs to so that there is an overlap with both the track sliders here when they're both open and closed. And so that way I get as maximum amount of strength really out of this whole assembly here. I use one inch profile for the actual dining room table frame itself because that's plenty strong, especially once it's wrapped on both the top and bottom with the finished materials that will go onto it. And that also he helps to keep that dining room table very thin so it fits underneath the bed very nicely and creates a nice thin dining room table, which I think you'll see once it's all finished out. Ooh, this is pretty exciting. It's the first moment I have actually actuated this. I am dead serious. Being that this actuator is rated to about 150 pounds, both static and dynamic, it's important to get it right. Stop! Yeah! Oh, that's good. Okay, give me my level. Hey, can you guys hand me my level? <laughs> okay, let's just do a couple checks here. That should be listing ever so slightly that way. Perfect, exactly in line with the camper. Now let's check this way. Oh my God, it is like, guess how level this is. Go ahead, take a guess. You ready? Zero. That is without my top, and this side's uh, ready. <laughs> zero point zero five degrees, so five one hundredths of a degree of a slope. That's good enough. Yeah, that'll work. And of course, once I put my bottom, my top on, it's going to make this thing way more rigid. The bottom, I probably haven't shared with you guys, but maybe I will now. The bottom is actually going to be a sheet of carbon fiber. It's going to be a unidirectional lay, so meaning this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And that's going to give a tremendous amount of torsional rigidity, tremendous. And it could be very, very thin, which is what I need. It's going to be almost invisible, but it's going to look really great. It's also going to be pretty much non-thermally conductive, so it'll feel nice on knees and things are touching it and all that. Uh, but that'll basically give it an incredible amount of rigidity and then a nice wooden top to give it a nice warmth. 0 0.05 degrees. Yoo! Let me look at that as a big win. And yeah, this way we're exactly the same lean and just basically I'm leaning two tenths of one degree that way because I have a little more weight on this side at the moment. I've got the inverter and the electrical system on this side and I forget what else I have in this side. Oh, the starter battery. Oh, and my two, three refrigerators on this side. This side, I still don't have all my appliances in 
and I also don't have the rest of my systems that are going in down here. So yeah, as those systems all get installed, this thing should be pretty close to level or balance. I'm gonna take that as a win, okay. So now, uh, can you guys reach those cables for me and swap them so I can push this in? Cause you can see it, it doesn't move. And that's a real benefit for the actuators. It can strongly hold a table in any position without latches. Can you guys do this with your dining room table? Can you? And there we go. And this means the pieces I glued in months ago. Totally steady. We're all glued in exactly parallel with each other and also level with each other. And that was challenging to do. So it's a great accomplishment that all these yes. pieces are coming together. Yes. Who wants to see that again? Yeah, it was fun playing with this a few times, and I really can't wait to get this thing actually with its top and bottom on, and then we we'll see it in its finished look and form. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool, you gotta admit. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's a big win. Having that done, that is huge. Okay, let's put it away. Got some camper building to finish up. Woo! Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sure is. Pretty cool. Yeah, so great to have this part of it done, but there's still so much to come. I still get to finish building the bed, get that all working as well. It's also sliding and lifting itself out and lifting up into a final position. I gotta also get this electrical system being built and then of course finish out all this cabinetry framing with some nice wood material and other materials on top of it. And of course, get other pieces working here and functionally working before I get this thing on the road and rolling. So thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and do sharing with others. And by all means, reach out and ask me any questions you have and I'll certainly be glad to help any way I can. And I look forward to sharing more with you coming up soon.